Hello and welcome to today's movie review and today we are going to talk about Secret Life of Pets 2. Now if you have seen the first Secret Life of Pets like mine it's essentially a series that gives you a little bit of insight on the life of your pet when you're not there. The Secret Life of Pets. Uh, the first one actually starred Louis C.K. and it was set to star in this one until he had his uh, we're going to say issues. We're going to kind of uh, stay away from that. And we're just going to talk about the films. Uh, this film, he was replaced by Patton Oswalt, who did uh, a remarkable job. And since it's been so long since I've seen The First Secret Life of Pets, there was no issue in the change of voice for me. Um, this film had some highlights. Uh, specifically for me, uh, I saw a lot of narrative uh, comparants to Star Wars Episode Five: Empire Strikes Back. Uh, the first film had all of our main groups in a story, uh, all of our main characters in one story, and on we went. This one uh, split our main characters up into three separate storylines, running parallel with each other and then coming back together at the very end. It was... Uh, it wasn't necessarily a simple story, but one you could follow pretty easily, and it seemed to work well for the younger children in the audience. They didn't get too tired with one storyline because it would switch to another one and then move forward. Um, in one of the storylines, we actually had Harrison Ford uh, voicing a pet, which uh, surprised me greatly, and he was by far my highlight of the film. Um... This film touches on everything from anxiety to how how to go about curing your anxiety. Well, that's that's probably not the right best way of saying it. It touches on anxiety, it touches on fear, and it goes on on how to face your fears and what to do and how it can change you as a person and how major life events can change you as a person. It wasn't a bad film, but it definitely was not a film meant for me. This film is a family film meant specifically for younger audiences, though there are things within it that older audiences can see, can laugh at, and can enjoy. Um, so overall, it was an enjoyable experience for me and my family, and I will admit that uh, if you're going to see it, stick around through the credits. There is some uh, fun animal and pet interactions that are uh, rather hilarious. Uh, overall, there, it's, it's a family film. There's no swearing. There, there's, there's cartoon violence, but there's no blood. There's no swear. It's, it's just a, a film meant for all ages, and it's one that can be enjoyed by all ages. Now, when it comes to the question of should I wait or should I see it now? My true recommendation is to wait for the home video release, watch it back to back with The First Secret Life of Pets, make it a good fun film day for the entire family. And with that being said, go ahead and tell me in the comments below what you thought of The First Secret Life of Pets. And if you want to continue this conversation, my social media is in the comments uh, below. So. Tell me there what you think of Secret Life of Pets 2. And until next time, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to this video. And until next time, have a great night.